Hey, listen, guys, let me tell you right now. I got a show Friday, June 3rd, right here in the Da Vinci Center. Now, I know I took a lot of your guys' money today, and I, it's how she goes sometimes. You know, I'm a big city guy. You know, that's how we do. You know, I, listen, I know you're a good-looking fella. You know, we and I should get together sometime. <laughs> I'll take you on a date. I'll tell you the story about the Lebanese guy in the Donaire shop. Unbelievable. Chris, hey, Chris. Hey. I thought... I thought we had an interview. You're gambling here? What's going ah, on? Well, listen, the ladies are calling there, fellas, so I'm really sorry about taking all your money, but don't worry, guys. I can make it back, no problem. Okay, and the ammo. You guys take it easy. Ciao. Thank you guys for having me, okay? <laughs> June 3rd is coming fast, everyone, and it's going to be Chris LaBelle's Full House Comedy Tour. He's a, a lifelong uh, resident of Thunder Bay who recently moved to Calgary. He's been living there for a few years, but he's back, and he's putting on his comedy tour, and we have him here today to talk about it. Uh, where is Chris? Uh, um, Chris? Ah, uh, Chris, oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh. What, what do you mean, no? <gasps> Mamma mia! <laughs> Chris, come on, have a seat. Have a seat here. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Good to see you, Chris. Thanks for coming down to the Da Vinci, where your show is going to be held in the Michelangelo room, mm -hmm. the big room, huge. 500 people? 500 people. Nice. Uh, right now, um, Friday, June 3rd is the event. It's going to be at the Michelangelo room right here at the Da Vinci Center. I chose the Da Vinci just because it's, it's such a great establishment. It's long standing, and uh, you know, it's, it's my people. You know, I'm Italian and uh, French Italian, but uh, you know, I want to do something with, for the community. Very nice. Now you're back here in Thunder Bay, uh, here for, for till the show date. Tell us, uh, what is it like coming back to Thunder Bay after having such a uh, great success in Calgary with uh, your comedy? Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, coming back to Thunder Bay, first things first, it's, uh, you know, it's a beautiful city, you know, uh, beautiful lakes, uh, amazing trees, an endless supply of Italian hairdressers. Like, <laughs> This is the kind of place where, you know, traffic's amazing. Like, you can get anywhere you want to go in five minutes. The people are extraordinarily friendly, like, so nice. And you forget about how genuinely nice people are here in Thunder Bay. People holding doors, people are polite, you know, people are trying to talk with you in the grocery store, wherever you are. And it's just a genuine, it's just people are kind. And when you tell people about an event, like, hey, I'm having this show, they are stopping what they're doing to listen to your event. They want to know what you have to say. Whereas in Calgary, very fast paced, very busy city, and people just don't have time to listen. And promoting is very hard when you're putting up a poster. It's so corporate, like, no, we've talked to head office. No, we don't do postering. Thunder Bay, hey, listen, can I put a poster up? Oh, you bet you, buddy. I'll put that right in the front door. Is that going to help you? Right there. Everyone will see it all day when they come in. How's that? Will that help you out? <laughs> no, of course it's going to help me out. So thank you, everyone, to help me put a poster up. Thank you. That's great. Now, you've uh, recently you played at the Stampede in Calgary. Stampede Casino, yeah. Huge. What, yeah. What's about that? Uh, the Stampede Casino was an incredible event. Uh, the first one was November 12th, and that show absolutely sold out. It's a 400 person venue, almost 1,000 people attended. Uh, it was amazing to see like almost 500 people turning away and just being like, I can't believe I didn't get a chance. Second show was February 4th, which sold out as well. And April 1st was my final show, which was an absolute success. Uh, Sterling Scott, the headliner who I had there, I'm bringing him to Thunder Bay, had a standing ovation. People were in tears, uh, and, and Sterling just back from Iraq. The government sent him out there for to you know support the troops and provide humor and lighten them up. And man, he was fantastic. What's that like for you coming back to Thunder Bay? And because uh, you know you've, you've been really successful, you've uh, tell our viewers about your career actually, because you've uh, before you were a comedian, you did some uh, MMA work. Um, well, what happened was in Calgary, I had an opportunity to watch a King of the Cage, uh, Canada. It was a live show at the Corel Center, and I'll never forget. It was just. Um, Man, I don't know. There must have been about 4,000 people there. It was amazing. I've never seen MMA live before. I just started watching UFC, and I just was so impressed by it. I literally jumped over the security barrier, strong-armed my way over to the owner, and I was like, listen, I, uh, I'd love to be a part of this. And Ken Cooks was kind enough to give me an opportunity in King of the Cage Canada. From that point on, I went from mixed martial arts announcer to promoter to like hosting live television on The Score, TSN, and Super Channel. It was just an amazing ride. Well, that was very well said, Trevor, but I gotta tell you, you know what, for someone who's had over 220 boxing bouts, you sure came in here today, you did an amazing job standing up with someone that is uh, a very well-known grappler, jiu-jitsu and wrestling artist. How did you feel on the ground and moving around in the grappling area of the MMA? 
You looked really comfortable and you looked like you really knew, knew your stuff. I'm from Thunder Bay. I grew up watching fights and I, uh, and not being the toughest guy, I was the guy usually coordinating the fight, instigating, instigating the fight, <laughs> commentating on the fight. And then when the time came, you know, I was the guy that was uh, usually um, uh, running away from the fight once <laughs> the police came and I was like, that's enough for me. So. Everybody run. Now, uh, your show, this is huge. Tell me about the guys that are coming in for the show. How'd you pick these guys? Okay. How'd you come up with that? Well, Sarah, the guys that I chose for this event, I have Dave Mirhaj from Toronto. This guy is the Lebanese sensation. He's absolutely fantastic. Dave comes with a style of humor unlike any comedian that I guarantee Thunder Bay has seen because no one in Canada has seen Dave's skill. He's a rant style comedian. He has a very quick and very precise way of delivering his material. It's usually unrehearsed, it's improv, and he just comes out there and starts talking. But it's so unique and creative that by the time he's done his set, you're just like, you don't know whether to laugh, you don't know whether to stand up and cheer, you don't know because this guy just speaks the truth. And his delivery is one of a kind and he is right now, potentially they say that he's like, you know, maybe the next Russell Peters. Really? He's very, very good. And he's of course Lebanese and he reps the Middle Eastern community, so. Now what did he say when you asked him? When, to come to Thunder Bay? Yeah. Oh. Well, Dave sounds like this. Oh my God, LaBelle, that's, that's amazing. He's got this like Woody Allen thing. He's like, oh, that's cool. Uh, will, I, will I make it there? Like, is there any Lebanese people in, in Thunder Bay? Uh, I love to, bro. Yeah, bro. He says bro all the time, so. And he, uh, I, and this is kind of risky because on my show in, in uh, February 4th, the one we did in, in, at the casino, he ripped me apart for oh. about five minutes and roasted me. And he crazy. talked about how Italian guys normally don't do yoga and they don't meditate. <laughs> So he Is really, there any truth to that? Uh, I don't know if any Italians out there that meditate and do yoga, you know, <laughs> namaste, whatever, but I do it. All right, what else can you tell us about your show? Uh, what, how long has this been in the making? Uh, this show has been in the making. I started, of course, November 12th was my first event, and what I decided to do was I chose to fast track my career in comedy and the reason being is, of course, you just there's a there's a process in comedy. Like as an amateur, you gotta you gotta beg to get on stage. You only get five minute guest spots, and it just took forever. So what I did was I used my promoting background. Right. I used the success I had in mixed martial arts. I used the fact that I'm you know good personality, you know, going and creative, and I just put all those tools together, and it's just been exploded. And now I'm just I have time at summer to bring the show to Thunder Bay and just kind of show my family and my mom that I do have a job, I do work, and I am capable of taking care of myself. Thanks for making my bed this. This morning. <laughs> Great. Now, uh, your show, it's uh, coming up. It's June the 3rd. Friday, June 3rd. It's going to be here at the Da Vinci. Now, tell me, why, um, when you first got into comedy, did you know that you were funny? You know, well, modestly, modestly speaking, I'd have to say, I, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say it was a success. Right off the bat, my improv style, my ability just to interact and, you know, uh, poke fun at the audience usually was what I started. And it was a bit vulgar. I was a bit raw. I was like a fighter, just raw, coming in there. And I was grabbing and pulling and doing things that were slightly inappropriate. And I did use a lot of profanity. But from that point, you know, when I first started, which is only 18 months ago to now, I've developed material, I've developed jokes, the timing, the delivery, and the respect for comedy. Comedy because it's not just about going up there using right. using dirty humor and you know and yeah. just kind of being bravado and there's an art to this and what, tell, me, tell me about the art to it because I, I, you know a lot of people say oh I can get up there and tell jokes and no problem but tell me about the art how did you have a mentor going into this um, that's a good question. I'd say my family originally. My family were all a bunch of comedians, you know, the Brzezzi side. You know, and my uncles were always doing imitations of people in the neighborhood and, and imitating their voices. And um, really? it was and it was very difficult growing up as a young man, like as a as you know, t uh, whatever, ten to fourteen, to get a word in with my family because they're very Italian. My mother's side, like it's unbelievable. <laughs> and to get in there and to be a part of that and to make you know my uncles laugh and my aunts laugh and to capture the attention of my family was the biggest inspiration. So when I started to do that at the expense of my family members, because I was imitating them usually. Um, what ended up happening was I just, it, it just kind of grew from there. And then, of course, in high school, I wasn't always the toughest or the best athlete, you know, so I had to have a skill and it just yeah. ended up being personality and being joking, just a joking guy, so. Tell me about uh, highlights right now. What, what is one of your highlights uh, in your uh, career as a comedian? Highlights right now, um, I'd have to say I've had a really good opportunity of opening for some major acts, a bunch of major uh, comedians from LA and uh, Las Vegas. Uh, John Campanera, I just opened for him here in Thunder Bay at the Finlandia Club. Thanks, Doc Funnybone. Gave me an opportunity here to kind of get my feet wet in Thunder Bay. And I've opened for some pretty big names. Uh, Max Amini out of LA. I've opened for uh, David Crow. He's a huge comedian out of uh, Seattle. And, um, you know, I've just, I enjoy comedy and I just really have an, I just would like to come to Thunder Bay. I'm thinking about maybe opening a comedy club here in Thunder Bay. 
and uh, you know, really promoting the brand and just bringing some big city hustle to Thunder Bay, like event planning and marketing and promotions and just cool. strategic ways of developing great. your skills and you know, getting your name out there. What about uh, what about comedians uh, in terms of who who are comedians that you look up to and who who do you do you kind of emulate yourself after anybody or? Um, I'd have to say if I were to emulate myself after anybody, uh, there's no particular comedian. Like I would say, like oh, I'm like this who guy. Who do you or, think is funny? Who do I think is funny? <laughs> uh, I think personally, who do I think is funny? I, I do. I got a kick out of Dane Cook. Not yeah. a lot of not a lot of comedians will admit that Dane Cook oh, is. I think he's funny too. I think Dane Cook's funny. He's a good-looking guy. He's fun to watch. He's entertaining. I think Kevin Hart is funny. I like uh, Dave Chappelle. Is God? Like he is. <laughs> he is amazing. And. Uh, there's a lot of great Canadian comedians as well, but the thing is, the comedians I'm having on my show Friday, June 3rd, Sterling Scott, Damer Hodge, and Matt Billen, these guys are, in my opinion, the best comics right now in Canada, really? and I'm bringing them here, three headliners on one stage. Wow, that's amazing. So it's the Full House Comedy Tour. It's happening right here at the Da Vinci with our local, homegrown Chris LaBelle. Westport! <laughs> so if you don't have tickets, run out and get them. It's the Full House Comedy Tour. Pick up your tickets. You should have them already. So can I say where to get the tickets? Definitely. You can get tickets here at the Da Vinci Center, Performance Kia, Ozone Tanning on Memorial, Thunder Bay Harley Davidson, and the Galaxy, as well as the Barbershop. What's up, Fresco? You can get them over there, and uh, you can call me or my mother. And uh, my mother's going to be on Twitter soon, so you can catch her tweets about meatballs. Nice. Perfect. So check out the Full House Comedy Tour to know more about Chris LaBelle. Check out chrislabelle.com. For Shaw TV, I'm Sarah MacArthur. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you, Sarah. Very Take good. care.